so far we've seen how to create tables, insert data into our tables, and retrieve those information using the select statement. What if we choose to delete our tables? How do we do that? The syntax to delete our table is similar to the syntax we use to delete our database. And it is drop table followed by the name of the table we want to delete. We currently have the employee table. So if we choose to drop or delete the employee table, all we need to do is type drop table followed by the name of the table, which is employee. We can do the same with drop table cat. Currently, we don't have a cat table because it was in our previous pet database. But because I like to show a couple of examples, I would say we create a couple of new tables and then we'll delete those tables. Switching over to SQL Server. Currently, I'm in the master database. I would switch to the company database that we created. Use company. And now in the company database, let's create a new table. We'll just call this dog. And what information would we like to have for our dog table? Let's say we need the, the name of the dog. So you have a dog name. Actually, let's do a dog ID first. Dog ID. And that will be an integer because it will be a number. Would need the dog's name. Okay, make a maximum name 10 characters. And perhaps we want the, the breed of the dog. Okay, I'll we'll make that 10 as well. And that's all for now, because um, the reason why we're creating the stable is just to perform the delete function. Let's go ahead and create the table. Let's insert some data into our table. Insert into dog. And we'd like to insert a, a dog ID, the name, as well as the breed. And what are the values? Say the dog ID one. Let's see our dog name. Smokey and Smokey is a puddle. Okay, we can insert that and let's insert one more record. Just copy that, paste, and let's call this Tammy the dog ID 2. And will be a park. We can insert that as well. So now we can select all from dog. When we print that, we see our dog table. Let's create one more table and create table and we'll call this dog2 and would like to have the dog ID just put the next line dog ID that will be integer again I would like to have the dog name for car Ten. I would like to have the, the color. Okay. Ten. And that should be the red. Create. And ten set values. I'm just going to copy this and make some changes to it. This will be doc two. The dog ID name, and then we have the color. Okay. 
And what values do we want? We can call those one zero one. Dog's name is Pinky the dog. Pinky is a cool dog. And let's insert one more. Do a double insert. The next would be one zero two. The name would be Woofy, and Woofy is a. Mm, let's go with Park as well. Okay, we can insert this record. So now, if we we have our dog one and our dog two, and let's see our dog two table. Insert all from dog two. So we have our two tables, the dog one and the dog two table. And just so you, it's clear, we have select all from dog. Then when you select this, so we see that there's a, oh, that should be a semicolon. Okay. All right, so how do we, delete our table so to delete the table the syntax is drop table and the name of the table which is dog and let's just truly refresh this so we also see our, our tables so we have the dog the dot two and we have our employee table so once we execute the the drop now the doc table has been deleted if we go back and say select all from dog let's see what happens it says invalid object named dog that's because our doc table has been deleted and if we refresh our database let me just refresh we go to tables we see that we don't have the doc table anymore same way we can drop our doc2 table doc2 when we execute that command completed successfully if we again go select all from doc2 it's going to tell us that there is no object name doc2 because that's been deleted as well and we can go ahead and delete the employee table as well. Table employee. And we do that. Execute. Now all of our tables has been is now deleted. You know, refresh that. Tables. So now we don't see any user defined table anymore. 